Hello, my name is Patricia Rickson. I'm from the Solana Tenubri in Boston, Massachusetts, and I'd like to talk to you about the ultimate guide for purchasing a human hair topper. I think wearing a topper is a very personal decision as to a full wig, but as soon as you notice hair loss and you're starting to feel uncomfortable, you might want to think about having a consultation just to see what that world is about because it isn't anything that you could go into a department store, walk by a booth and see hair. So no one knows anything about them and in today's world they look so natural looking. You'd be surprised at how many women wear them today. I'd like to show you why I am a candidate for a topper. I'm going to remove my hair I always take it off from the front to the back so that you won't pull your hair in the front. And I have a few extra clips on for better balance in the middle of my head. So let me show you this. So through the pandemic, I actually lost 25 to 30% more of my hair. Although I don't think I had COVID, from the stress of it, I did. So this hairpiece is a little bit larger than the hairpiece I was wearing prior to my recent loss. So I noticed that when my hairpiece, the pr previous hairpiece I had wasn't working, I didn't have as much fullness. I was lacking the hair in the back. I could see through it. And I realized that I should go to the next size. So I had been in a hairpiece that was five by six and went to this hair piece, which is seven by eight. So in matching the hair piece to your own hair, you have to make sure that the color is correct, the texture is correct. My hair tends to be naturally curly, so I like to wear it like this most of the time, but there are times when I'm going somewhere and I might want to blow out my hair and the hair piece, which is very easy to do so that they look the same. My preference is to wear a bang. And so when the hair piece comes in, it's eight inch, this piece was eight inches long everywhere. And then we just trimmed a bang in and pretty much left the rest of it existing at that length. I think a side effect of wearing a hair piece, which is a positive for women who color their hair all the time, if you're a woman who has to color her hair, maybe every three to four weeks, you'll probably go six to eight weeks because the hair piece will be covering your root hair. The important parts about choosing the correct hair piece for your bio hair would be texture, color, length, all of which is possible if you go in for a consultation for a human hair piece and actually see the pieces in person. So coming to a hair salon like our salon that specializes in hair replacement will give you the correct fitting by measuring with a professional or I know that Daniel Elaine's company has fit kits and different sizes to help you. You have the ability to personalize it for your own style. You can have it colored, rooted, highlighted, low lighted, add money pieces through the front area. You can have it trimmed and cut into your own haircut, face framed, texturized. All of those things are possible with human hair, just as your bio hair. The maintenance of your human hair hair piece will be really easy to take care of. We suggest that you wash it every 14 days from all day wearing from morning till night. You would shampoo it, gentle shampoo and conditioner, rinse it, put it in a towel, pat it dry, take some moisture out, comb it, place it on the head, put the pins actually through this part of the material, not through the top, let it dry overnight. You can scrunch it like this, like this hair piece, and it will come out wavy like this, or comb it smoother, and you'll get a smoother look. 
let it dry. And if you had to do any touch-ups, you can do it with a blow dryer in the morning. Your human hair topper can be heat styled with any hot tool like curling iron, blow dryer, air wrap, anything that you'd like to use on your own hair, you can use on your human hair topper. We always use a heat protectant when we're using hot tools, always. So I'd like to show you how I put my topper on. I wear bangs, so I like to start like this, a little bit lower, and then I slide back, close the clip, on the sides, in the back, very easy to do. Just takes a tiny bit of practice in the beginning, like so. And you're ready to go. Saves a lot of time in the morning, and you're off and running for the day. The hair topper that I just put on is exactly the same size as the curlier one I had on at the beginning of this. So you can see that they're varied and you can wear them in different styles. I probably started wearing a topper much earlier than the average woman who noticed hair loss because it's what I do every day. And I knew the advantages were going to be, I would look younger, it would be easier to take care of my hair, and I felt like it was the right move for me. So if you have any questions about wearing a hair, human hair topper, you can make a consultation appointment at our salon. You can contact Daniel Lane and have a personal contact there. And please, if you have any questions, leave any questions or comments below.